my name's Devin Gilchrist and I'm the CEO here at Avid. We're an automotive detailing company. We specialise in bringing back old paint, protecting vehicles, paint protection film, ceramic coatings. And we've also got a large automotive community, which is also surrounds the business. Passion for me for cars is, I mean, ever since I can remember. I remember sitting in the back seat of the family car, asking dad what it was like to drive. And my dad was always into cars, so he was always turning up in different cars. I was probably about 12 or 13. My dad was looking at a Mitsubishi GTO, which is a nice Japanese sports car. And I was pestering him, pestering him, him for a long time to get him to buy that car. And uh, he finally did. And I used to look forward to the weekends just sitting in the garage and just cleaning it, detailing it. It was always about the cars. It was never really about partying and drinking for me. Uh, all my money went in, into cars and petrol. So cars, you know, will always be in our family. And, you know, I can see it in my, you know, my five-year-old girl at the moment. She loves cars herself. And I do hope that that continues through. You know, they probably won't have much of a choice because it's just going to be in front of their faces going up. Um, but yeah, no, it, it, it is really cool. Like I had it with through my childhood and it's most of my memories are associated with cars as well. Then from there, shortly after, we moved to Australia. Uh, that's when I moved into the police force there and spent five years working the beat down at Bondi Beach, of all places. Over in Australia, the industry is a lot larger. Moving back to New Zealand, as soon as I got back, there was nothing here like it. There was nowhere for people to take their nice cars. That's when I thought about doing something and involving the car community along the way, and that's where Avid was born. My best friend and I uh, started Avid back in 2017. Uh, so we had a little shop down in Birmingham Drive that we started out of. And then from there, we wanted to grow the business and we were trying to look for ways to sort of get the business out there. So being a big fan of Aston Martins, scrolling through Instagram, I found a really nice cobalt blue Aston Martin Vantage. That I thought oh, that would look really nice, you know, with our process done on it. Got in touch and that's Bryn Thompson, who people who know him now. He came around the, the following week with his friend Brent Jones to see what we do. And from there, you know, we worked on their cars, we got to know them. They quickly, both of them came mentors for me as well. The whole idea behind Avid is to help owners get the most out of their vehicles. So part of doing that is, you know, protecting them and maintaining their cosmetic appearance so they can get the most out of them. We can do a ceramic coating over cars, which is going to make the paint look great and make them very easy to look after. The other side of things we can do is put a, um, what we call a paint protection film, so a, a, a PPF for short. So that's a computer cut plastic film that wraps the car to stop stone chips and scratches. The major benefit of that is people can drive their car, you know, relax, not worry about getting stone chips and scratches and you know, just enjoy the car for the reason why they bought it. The community side of the business was the whole reason behind Avid. Um, you can see up on the wall there that I scribbled it in the back of my diary in 2017 when I was thinking of Avid. So that was always the, the forefront of my thoughts for Avid. Bryn was massively into the car community and wanted to do something with the car, like the car community as well. And then from there, the Avid Car Cafe was born with 11 people and I think we might have had seven cars at our first meeting. 
and now we're up to over 500 and we can easily get 100 cars to, to any, of our, any of our coffee meets. Like the most surprising thing for me is just how cruisy car customers are. Some of them are so wealthy in their own rights and you know you get to learn their stories, you actually get to learn how hard these people work too. Uh, it's very easy, you know, growing up seeing a nice car and you think, oh God, that, that guy's lucky or that, that, that girl's lucky. And talking to them, you understand, you know, what they've done to, to get to those points to, to own those cars and, you know, that, that makes you work harder yourself. Everyone's really like-minded with Avid and uh, you know you certainly get to see some really cool cars, you get to meet really cool people and yeah you, you know become a few friends with them and then you know it just kind of feels like you're hanging out with friends more than anything. We're more about the owners than the cars here so it's always cool to have someone new show up with a different car, different personality, it's always good to have a mix of personalities and cars. The whole community is the people, I think it's the people that makes the club, we have really good members it's not just about cars, we also have a good like, knowledge of a bit of everything. So it's really good to see everyone's other passions and hobbies. I just wanted to keep going like it is. It's just something that we want to support and you know, let, let it grow and, and just, just let it shine for what it is. Car people are car people, always will be. The people who sort of look back at their cars once they park them, have another look at them once they put them in the garage. You know, they are our customers and that's what the car community is. So I just want Avid to be there for them and, and, and be a part of that. And as much as we can put that on display to the next generation coming up, put smiles on faces, hear the stories of ownership, and if we can keep doing that, then you know, we're on the right path and we're doing the right thing and you know, we're all going to be happy.